Uh, what a wonderful day. Wonderful day for a ride. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another moto vlog. It's been years since I've done a moto vlog. A lot of you who follow me, at least half of y'all that follow me, I have 2k sub uh, subscribers now. Thank you for that by the way. I know some of y'all in recent years followed me or started following me for the RSX content, track content, and now some of y'all follow me for the CRX content. But when I first started this channel several years ago, it was when I first started riding back in 2017, I believe. Well, riding, I've always wanted to do. And then motovlogging was always something I wanted to do along with it. Some of y'all who follow me on Instagram already know this, but I moved to Asheville, North Carolina, like in March of this year. And it took a while, but I finally was able to get my, motor, or my uh, Vulcan S transported out here. I tried selling it at one point down there before moving, but no dice on that. I won't go into that, but I got it transported a little less than a week ago from the recording of this video. But I actually had it transported to where I work. I work at a motorcycle dealership here in Nashville, uh, MR Motorcycle. Uh, by the way, hit me up there if you're y'all are looking for an ATV side by side or a motorcycle. I'm a salesman there now. And if you're in the Western North Carolina region or you know this that that area near Western North Carolina in other states like Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, South Carolina, let's see if we could uh, hook you up with the machine you want. All right. Now enough with the shameless plug. It's been raining a lot, and I really wanted to gather the money to update my riding gear, which I did. Got a new helmet. Got new gloves. Uh, my jacket's probably still good. I'm not actually not wearing it. I can't find it. I know it's. I know I have it somewhere. But and then the next day I took it out for an extended ride, and I'm actually back here at where I took that extended ride because it was actually a really nice route. One of the things I love about living here is being so close, like like minutes away from incredibly nice roads. Unlike Houston, where it's just flat and you know flat and straight roads, and you have to drive like what an hour or so to find like one decent road. If you're a car guy and or a bike guy, this is one of the, probably one of the best regions to be at, to be honest, if you ask me. I'm like two hours away from Tail of the Dragon. I haven't gone down there yet, but I mean, one day I will. And there's a bunch of other like roads here that have their own name that aren't, you know, nationally known like the Dragon, but they are known locally here and I'm gonna be riding them too uh, in, in either the cars or the bike. By the way, my motor vlogging equipment right now is just this chest chest mount for the gopro i do have some things coming for this helmet to make a better uh moto vlogging setup but as of right now i'm still waiting on those things to show up in the mail uh but you know what enough talk let's go for a ride
across the mustard, brother. Most of this route right here is going to be uphill. Then I'll start going downhill once I crest over the mountain.
decided to pull over. I was done with the route. Uh, but I couldn't really decide where to stop, so I just kept riding through, like, town and stuff. Or, like, that part of town that uh, I'm, I live near. Uh, and then I was driving through a, a, a road that I've drove down before, but I never noticed uh, this back here. This is an abandoned uh, correctional facility, I guess, or prison or something. Even says uh, there are corrections enterprises, private laundry. So, so I had to stop here because I thought it was interesting. Um, I knew this place existed, I just didn't know where. And it's kind of funny because it's kind of close to where I live. <laughs> like, not too far at least. Interesting place to stop, I guess. I mean, took some pictures and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this motor vlog, I guess. It's the my first ever moto vlog in a couple years with the Vulcan S. The Vulcan S is back, um, but here's the thing. I wanted to save this for the last part of the video. Moto vlogging is back. For now, the Vulcan S is back. I say that because I do plan on selling her or trading her in for a new bike. Um, and it might be happening soon. There's a certain bike from a certain brand at my dealership that i've been wanting for a good minute now uh don't get me wrong i love the vulcan s it's a great bike but this i, I definitely want something a little bit more sportier and when that happens we'll see uh but for that right now i'm enjoying the vulcan s for what it is because it's been a while and and i wanted to show her on at least one more motor vlog before uh before i finally seal the deal of it being gone forever you know and all that thanks for coming along on this ride hope you enjoyed it as much as i did it was really fun um if you like the video please hit the like button comment if you want to say anything to me you know whatever uh and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and yeah motor vlogging is back on the channel guys thanks peace